Okay, hi, I'm David. I'm here with Nan from, from Thailand, actually. And uh, I'm trying to explain to her a Santa Mix system, which basically turns all of your waste into a liquid. And the reason that that works so well is that liquid will flow downhill for you. So how's uh, the whole system work? Are they, is it just on the pipe? Yeah, okay. The, the, the way it works is a little bit of a mechanical device. It's a treadle. If I step on the treadle with my weight, it moves an arm on the bottom of the barrel, which basically is like a little mixer. Step off of it and there's bungee cords which pull it back. And as far as um, how it works, it always runs full. It's, it's an overflow system, so it's constantly full. And so the only thing you get out of it is what goes into it, obviously, so it runs downhill at a very slow rate. So it's pretty different from the um, traditional flush toilet when oh, you like, very flush much. the water. Oh, very much. Yeah, sure. Um, there's no water consumption. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's no requirement to clean it out. Uh, you have because of the fact there's oil floating on the top. It actually mm -hmm. is an odor barrier, and mm -hmm. on top of that, if you put some orange oil into that oil, it will, it will repair repel flies as well. Right, so you can actually make the oil, oil yourself because it made out. Yeah, the oil simple. is is actually a used cooking oil. In fact, um, used cooking oil may not be available, so even used motor oil will work mm -hmm. because it never leaves the drum. It always stays in the drum. It's only the liquid underneath the oil which flows out. Right. How much would it cost to make um, this thing? Let's say, um, how many people would? be able to use it a day without okay. having well, it Okay, um, well, interesting questions. Let, let's say that four people a day will generate one gallon of waste. That, that's, that's an approximation. Four people a day generate one gallon. Um, if you take those numbers and you extrapolate out, you can mm -hmm. end up with 400 people a day right. using this. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it has a high capacity to, to, to service a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to clean it ever? No, because, it's, it, like I said, it's a, it's a liquefied system. Mm -hmm. So it overflows and uh, it takes care of itself only because it's like water and it, does, it just flows out normally. Um, right. In the back is a, another, you have another option because the flow is only as fast as the material that goes in. So in the back is a little valve. So if you're tired of waiting for your material to reach your garden or whatever it's at such a slow rate there's a valve in the back and you just open the valve and you just draw off a five gallon bucket or whatever you like this is this is uh, all made from a wooden pallet the, the wood pieces so that's free recycled wood a pallet and it's actually in the in the shape of a pallet because you can lift it up with a forklift or it doesn't weigh much it might weigh 30 pounds or so maybe a little more this mm -hmm. is a drum, which is, you have to, uh, basically, once drums are used, they're, they're basically a liability. You have to get rid of them somehow. So here's, right. a, here's a way to get rid of your drums, is to, is to make good use of them. Uh, yeah. Could you demonstrate how this sure. device okay. would work? Sure, Demonstrating. I stepped on a treadle, and I don't know, did, did you see that arm that moved across? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so I stepped on the treadle, that's all it took. Holding onto the handles, or actually fence posts, I can squat, which is what most of the world does. They're used to squatting. So, actually for me, it's an easier movement to step up and then step back down again instead of like so, because that's a little harder for an older person. Mm -hmm. um, for Westerners or other people that are used to the toilet seats, you have a toilet seat. So it's that simple. Um, the moving parts are minimal, so there's not that much that can go wrong with it. Right, right. So, um, from uh, the system that you showed me before, uh -huh. what's the difference now that it's a portable pot potty? Okay, uh, this, in, in terms of how it works, practically no difference at all. The only difference is that it has a door now, so it assumes that we now are, are in an, an economy that can afford to buy uh, a porta potty. Uh, the difference as far as how a normal porta potty works is you fill it up and someone's got to come along and pump it out every week or however often it could be. This you never pump out 
because again it just overflows the way the uh, bird's nest did. And by so the you way, just open the door and yeah. close it. Oh. It's the same thing as stepping on to throttle. Exactly right. I mean, it, it's it's a mechanical way of moving the agitator. So mm -hmm. since you're opening the door, there's a hinge on it, and uh, we'll see directly down into the hinge in a minute. Um, so that has the same effect as stepping on the treadle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, it's very simple. There's, there's even less work to do it to use this than there was for the other one. Right. This is nothing more than urine and water, and I repeat, there's not, I'm sorry, urine, urine and solids, and I repeat, there's not a drop of water in it. And there is some toilet paper mixed in it, which is a special toilet paper, which dissolves. And so as you pour it back and forth, you end up with a gruel. And this actually replicates what happens in these units, because it does get turned into a gruel, and it will flow down a pipeline. I'd like to prove to you beyond the shadow of a doubt that oil is an absolutely uh, important critical part of this process. So here is gruel on a newspaper, been sitting out here for a little while. It has no oil in it, but it's full of flies. Okay, so this shows uh, a also high degree of success. However, the, there are flies that will uh, land around here because this is only vegetable oil. Uh, flies don't mind vegetable oil that much. So this is, again, this is a gruel, but it's mixed in with some vegetable oil which was floating on the surface. Okay, now this is the most astounding uh, finding of all for me, and that is that by adding orange oil, the flies hate it, they will not approach it. So this is more gruel, it has cooking oil, and it has a small amount of orange oil added to it. It's been sitting here all afternoon and the fly has not even approached it. So orange oil is an absolute fly repellent. Okay, uh, we have a garden and we've been talking about the value of our waste products and here's how we're going to apply them to our garden. We're going to use both urine and gruel as separate products. So here we have a one inch trench and we're going to just shoot, sow our seeds along in the trench like so. We are going to cover them Pack them down, all the way down. So now we have our seeds sown. And on top of that, our diluted urine comes right on top, like so. And so th there, we, there we have a, an excellent growing condition because our seeds were watered and they were hit with a strong solution of nitrogen and phosphorus all at the same time. Uh, it's a good condition for seeds to germinate in. Okay. All right, now we're going to show how to use gruel, and this is in distinct contrast to collecting night soil and throwing it on the top of your ground. Uh, night soil is basically whatever you dig out of the latrine. It's not uh, processed in any way. There's nothing done that would uh, change its form. So here we have a fluidized mix. It's gruel. And um, our trench, in this case, is about six inches deep. So we're going to apply the gruel as we go along, like so. Put about three or four inches of soil on top of it. So now it's buried. So there is no product which might contain pathogens that are exposed to the top of the ground. All right, so now we've partially covered up the, the uh, trench. We're going to sow seeds again, one inch deep, and just cover them the way did, we did before. Sow the seeds an inch deep, cover them over. Pack them down. And pray for rain. 
So that's what, that's what uh, seeds need more than anything else to uh, germinate is rain. But once they've germinated, they need nutrients. So you provided them with a great abundance of nutrients, both with the gruel and with the urine. Okay, so what we've, see, what we've seen here is a, a change in the basic approach to sanitation. Uh, we're getting away from very, very uh, unpleasant and dangerous labor. Um, we're using the materials, our byproducts, very soon. It's a whole change in the way that we may be able to approach sanitation. And another thing maybe I haven't stressed enough is that we have a liquid, we're not using any water. So water is a whole other issue in the third world and waterborne diseases are basically drinking water which is contaminated by human pathogens. So we've gotten away from all of that. So here's a tangible effort and uh, it's worth trying out.